At Max Oil, we understand the stress your vehicle endures on a daily basis. Whether you live in a hot or a cold environment, drive a minivan or a performance vehicle, your motor oil is constantly being put to the test. The following tests are here to show you why Max Oil is your engine's partner. Today, we'll be testing Max Oil Pro Max 5W30 synthetic oil against one of the industry's leading synthetic oil competitors in both an extreme cold and an extreme heat test. Let's get started. We began by pouring 300 milliliters of each oil into our test beakers. We then placed each beaker in a controlled freeze environment for 24 hours. Up to 60% of total engine wear happens under cold start conditions before oil can circulate through the engine. Reducing this delay can help minimize wear and tear. Fluids by nature thicken as temperatures drop until the point some fluids no longer flow at all. We recorded both temperatures at negative 41 degrees Celsius. One measure of quality lubricants is its ability to flow at low temperatures. As we begin to pour each test sample, the oil seems to have similar traits. However, towards the end of the pour, notice the competitor oil thickened to a point where it can no longer flow. This can lead to unnecessary engine wear and premature oil life. As you can see, the cold is no challenge for Max Oil. Now to the heat test. On the left we have the competitor synthetic oil and on the right we have Max Oil synthetic oil. Both samples have been set to 400 degrees. Almost right away, the competitor's oil begins to bubble and smoke, whereas the Max Oil Synthetic remains unchanged. Our tests have shown that Max Oil Synthetic Oil is able to dissipate heat better than leading competitors under extreme conditions. This is especially important in high-performance engines. Notice the competitor oil has burnt during the heat test. Burnt oil contains high levels of soot which leads to increased strain on engine components. Again, heat is no match for Max Oil Synthetic Oil. Max Oil, your engine's partner.